Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Twitter logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. The left one is an image, the right one is a creation done in Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in and I will open the format ribbon and for the color I will probably choose some kind of uh, faded gray just so it's not getting in our way and we will be using a lot of circles today and if you search for you know recreation of Twitter logo from other graphical artists they usually use uh, circles so that's kind of a usual way how to duplicate this logo so I will select insert shapes oval which is in here and I will draw it as a circle so holding the shift key on my keyboard you can see that one, once I draw it I don't see anything so I will open the shape fill properties and I will set the transparent to say to some level like I don't know 60 70 percent and I will right click and select the set as default shape which will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this properties this uh, fill and outline mm, properties so it will be a little bit faded I will make this a little bit smaller just so it's it copies the main shape of, of the bird like this maybe just a tiny bit smaller so this is like the bottom shape I will duplicate this shape holding the control key on my keyboard then just dragging the circle in here and I have to make it just a little bit smaller maybe like this that's just fine and I now need this head so I will again copy paste this resize it to a smaller size making sure that it kind of matches you know the right side so I will zoom in so I can see it better and it's aligned to the right side so I'll just make it a little bit bigger on the left side now before I m continue with the other shapes I will probably merge it right now just so you know we are not getting like you know 20 different circles actually it's like 13 so I'll select the big one and the small one and I will select merge shapes subtract so I'll subtract this part I don't need the top part either so I can just quickly draw something like a rectangle or so and subtract this rectangle from the shape as well then I need to merge the like the head with the body so select like merge shapes union so we have the body and we can continue probably with the wings so I will select insert shapes and again draw a new oval for the wing like this it should be a little bit smaller just uh, judging on the you know the curvature then I will duplicate this for the second wing the top part of the second wing it should be smaller as well and the top part of the third wing and when I start drawing the other parts, you know, it will be kind of messy. So maybe what I can do is I can show the selection pane and just hide those three circles for now. And I will insert a new circle, which will be like the bottom part of the wing. Again, you can see the curvature is much bigger, so I have to make this smaller. So maybe like this. Okay, this, this should be fine. So this is like the bottom part of the wing. We need the bottom part for a second wing and for the third wing and I believe that we can use the very same circle for all of those. Okay, that's just fine. So I will uh, start with you know showing individual parts. So this is first part with the smaller and I want the, uh, to subtract this. So I will select the format, merge shape, subtract. And you know immediately you can see I'm missing this top part. So what I can do first, I can probably you know duplicate this one more time just so I have some volume in here and merge those shapes together then when I will you know separate this part we will have this missing part which wasn't there previously then there is this second big one and sm here is should be the smaller it is not this way okay it's this one so I will subtract those two as well and I will do the same thing for the last pair so subtract there is still something missing in there you know some like an empty space in the in the middle so what I can do is I can just draw any shape in here to fill this spot select all of those shapes and select the merge shapes union so we have the body and the wings and the only missing part is beak or, or bill so I will insert a new circle as well and it will be like this and I will zoom in so I can see this part better that will be much better okay so this is the first circle the second one that one should be a little bit smaller most likely another one in here and i want to make sure that those you know two circles are intersecting close to the body so it's kind of matching the logo and this one should be bigger as well okay so this is, should be bigger maybe even more okay so we have a little bit of mess with all those circles 
So again, I will hide those new two new ones and I will subtract this one. So I will select format number shift subtract. I will also subtract those two. So subtract, I will merge those two together. And I don't need this, you know, crazy top part. So I will draw maybe a rectangle, maybe two rectangles, which I will separate from this shape before merging it with the body. So subtract the first one and the second one. And now I can finally merge this, merge this with the body. So I'll move this to the right side. I will reset the colors for the original image and I will just sample the fill color for our new shape. So I will sample the fill color and set the outline to no outline. And voila, we have a nice looking Twitter logo done in Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time. And that's it. Thanks for watching.